Hi, this is Jürgen, and uh, I'd like to show you the software SMS to DSP, which is now part of the Mark II. So you can download it for free on our website. Um, I already installed the PC application here, and by double clicking it, you start it up uh, on the PC. You have to check the settings here. First, the mobile phone settings. Um, I know that my uh, Nokia is is uh, connected to uh, to COM3, so I will choose that one. And the second device uh, to select is the Lasercraft DSP. So here is one available. This is uh, my compact here. So, so uh, now you see that there is no connection to the DSP. That is why. Um, that is because I didn't load the uh, corresponding boot. There is a template that comes with a PC software, SMS to DSP here, the boot. Uh, after loading it in, you just press Run, and now the uh, PC application will get the response that there is a DSP waiting for uh, messages to show. So I will change here to this view. This is a default message. Of course, you can change that. And now um, there are two different uh, ways to work with a program. One is the manual mode, and the other is the automatic mode, which means in manual mode you have to um, apply each uh, message that comes in or that is typed in so you can check it, read it and after that you can deny or apply it and in automatic mode the message will be automatically uh, applied to and sent to the DSP after a delay time and um, so what we do now is we choose the uh, automatic mode and um, to prevent uh, all messages in all words to be uh, uh, displayed, there is a keyword um, list you can type in, and if a message comes in that uh, contains one or uh, more words of this list, it uh, will not be displayed. So. Uh, and of course, it's also possible to uh, type in a manual message here. So, after the default delay time, uh, it will automatic automatically be displayed on the laser. And to show you that there is, uh, of course, also the automatic way. I will send a message from my mobile phone here. So and now it has been sent. And there it is. After this delay time, um, it will be automatically displayed on the DSP. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I think this is quite easy, and I uh, hope you have fun using it.